Hello everyone, Akari Enderwolf here, and it appears that we still have four more to go. Because this thing is beeping at me. Okay, that didn't do anything. Oh, I've got a semiconductor. I should sell that. Level four suits probably gonna be three thousand. I mean thirty thousand. So I'm gonna keep fifteen. I'll keep half of what I think I need. And then I'll run back this way to do some upgrading. And I'm recording this the day after I got some new fillings taken care of. Oddly enough, the spot where I got the fillings doesn't hurt. Instead, the opposite side of my mouth that is a bit sore. Just thought that was something interesting to know. So, let's see. Hmm. I'm thinking this. Let's save the capacity upgrade for when the plasma cutter is pretty much empty. So right now it's full. And if I save the upgrade for when it's empty, then that means that I'll actually be able to uh, just go right ahead and upgrade it and get some free ammo. Because anytime you upgrade the capacity of a weapon, it completely refills the ammo of that weapon to the new capacity. Chemlab report from Professor Jagerwald. Elizabeth, no doubt you've been. No doubt you're aware of the organic growth found in, in some parts of the ship. I've been examining the, the substance and, and thought the results would interest you. The cells are most closely resemble bacteria with viral behavior. Like bacteria, the organism infects other cells through osmosis then it mutates and reproduces agamo uh, agamo organetic agamo genetically that is a tongue twister of a word whoa and i don't know what it means so anyone who knows the definition feel free to post it down below what's an what's amazing is the speed at which it grows a single bacterium reproduces 20-fold in just one minute. I've never seen anything like it. That voice really takes a toll on my throat. I won't stake my eh, reputation on it, but I think this may be a genuine alien life form. Professor Holloway theorizes that it's a he habitat transformer. The levels of gaseous output res are tremendous, which is why it smells so bad. But to what end, we simply do not know. I'll keep you posted, Heinrich. Okay, I need something to drink now. That's better. Note to self, don't do that voice again for long notes.
We got him. Oh, there was a bench over here too? Hello! Them there. Yeah, that thing got me. It scared me good. I just used up my last med kit. Oopsie. Well, hopefully there's some more inside here. Lots of ammo. No med kit. I think. Oh, a large med kit. Good. I replaced the one I used on accident. 3,000 credits. Nice. Oh, excuse me. Vegetative anomalies detected in the East Grove Chamber. You don't say. Oh, great. Oh, great! Power node. Don't mess with the chainsaw. Especially a super high-tech advanced alien space chainsaw. Actually, it's not alien, is it? It was designed by humans. But still! Don't mess with a girl and her chainsaw. Okay, this one's a little tricky. Because you gotta do that. Stop whispering in my ears. One down. Three to go, I think. I expected one of those things in here, not anything in the box. I forgot they could show up in boxes. I was just stomping it because why not? Off with your head! Oh, stasis. Yes, please. Is it? What was that? I hear you. Getting jumpy. Well, 
I guess the next stop is the top floor. Because I'm pretty sure the top floor gets cut off. So I always go there first. Because, yeah, there's the door to progress, I think. Oh, there's one of those things up here. Oh, right, I upgraded the damage. No need to blast them more than twice. I kind of like that I have to use uh, the arrow keys to navigate the menu. Hydroponics log, Dr. Cross reporting. Something huge just slammed into the hole near food storage. It wasn't a rogue asteroid. I know what that sounds like. But it was big and heavy. I'll report again when I know more. Okay. Another node. That means I can upgrade something. Oh, this looks ominous. I know it! I know it! Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it! Uh, Okay, let's go back for that item now. Even Isaac doesn't like this area. It's like, ew, ew, what am I stepping on? Oh, oh, that's so gross. And I know that was probably a really bad impersonation of his voice because he doesn't really sound like that. Stop grabbing me, things. Chief Engineer. I came down here to find Dr. Elizabeth Cross, but she's not here. In fact, I can't find anyone. Just more of this organic shit everywhere. Entering I'm going to check the mining deck. It's about the only place I haven't looked yet. Okay, there's the button I needed. Let me jump somewhere. There. There we go. Let me just turn that off. Die, 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 die. Where are you? There you are. Also, to anyone who thinks I'm faking my reactions, uh, no, I freaking am not faking any of these reactions. I don't do that! It's a totally different experience actually playing a game than That's watching the last one, it. Isaac. There's a switch in atmosphere control to restart the oxygen recycling. Once the air's clean, you can get into food storage. Isaac, I've been reading these reports. The crew all began having mass hallucinations. And. Well, I just saw my brother on a security monitor, and that's just not possible. Now you can rest. Huh? 
Did I go backwards? I did! There's the right way. Yeah, I know some people might think, think oh, I'm overreacting or something. Maybe I am overreacting, but that's because I'm actually playing the game. Not watching it. Like, like the two things are different experiences. I know that much from experience. For example, I could go through the entirety of uh, Amnesia by watching PewDiePie play it, but trying to play it on my own? No, I can't get very far. And not because I don't know what to do or anything, but because I get too scared to go on in that game. Is that a state? I saw a glowy thing and I grabbed it. But yeah. Like, all the... Yeah, oh, it's fake because they're... They're uh, yelling and screaming at this game that's totally not scary. Well, maybe it isn't scary to you people who are watching it. I mean... If I was doing any of the scare stuff on purpose, I would have screamed at that part right there. Okay, that got me a little bit. I thought that thing was dead. But still, I, I anticipated the possibility that it might be alive, so I didn't jump hugely from that. Unlike when I opened that door over there that I didn't realize there was a necromorph behind. Like, that one got me. I guess the main reason I'm seeing this is because all too often I see people oh, complain on horror videos uh, about, oh, it's not real because it's, uh, they're totally overreacting or they, they're just making it up. They're not really scared or some junk like that. And I'm telling you that, yes, I am getting, if not scared, then startled while playing this game. So, yes, my reactions are real. I don't plan on ever faking any. And heck, my fake reactions aren't all that convincing to begin with. Isaac, where are you? Help me. Help who? But yeah, my fake stuff isn't all that convincing to begin with. I mean, have you heard my... Have you heard the times that I've done those fake screaming bits when I would jump and fall off of that one island in Minecraft? It was not good. <laughs> I would freely admit that was not a good fake scream type thing. Anyway, let's get back to this. Like, back to Dead Space. Back to the... Big doors. And... Oh, that is very unsettling. Hydroponics log, this is Dr. Cross. It's hard for me to believe what I'm seeing here. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to the mining deck. I hear that's where survivors are gathering. Jacob, I'll wait for you there. I'm in space. Yeah, stuff like this is unsettling to me. <laughs> and, like, I love space and the idea of space travel. Okie dokie. 
entering zero gravity. Uh, it's a giant space bot. It's a giant space bot with tentacles. Ow. Come on, poke out your tentacle again. Face butt with tentacles. Hello, Ripper Blades. Reload, Isaac. It. What happened to all my plasma ammo? I don't have any plasma ammo. Hello. You did it. Hammond, do you read? Oxygen levels are returning to normal. Damn it. He's gone again. No sign of his rig anywhere. It's up to us now. I've got a plan to get off this ship. I've located an SOS beacon on the mining deck. If you can get down there and activate it, we might be able to send a distress call. Oh god. I don't know how much longer that dark will hold. Hang on, need to recenter my mouse. Exiting zero gravity. I also need another power node. Save the rest of my stuff. I think there's two more yeah. two more suit upgrades. Okay, so 
Plasma cutter. Capacity. And now I've got... Yeah, and now I got 16 free ammo for this thing. Or before I only had six ammo, now I have 16 plus six more. done almost have I done with the episode I mean actually maybe about 15 more minutes it looks like you can just barely see audacity around the edges of the window this way Yes, save. Okay, let's go. This may be our last chance of getting out of here alive, Isaac. There's an asteroid loaded up in the mining bay waiting to be smelted. If you attach the SOS beacon to it, you can launch it away from the ship to make a clean broadcast. The beacon's on the maintenance subdeck. You can launch the asteroid from the control room. <sighs> Damn, the control room is locked. It looks like they keep an emergency access key on the processing subdeck. Couldn't be easy, could it? I don't know how much more of this I can take. Of course it couldn't be easy. I'm playing on normal difficulty. Okay, so let's get that HP upgrade. Three more nodes, and my rig is completely upgraded. Always welcome finding more plasma. Stay back. There's nothing here. Of course. Intense music, and then nothing. <clears throat> I need to get another drink of my soda. There's going to be something on the elevator, isn't there? I was not expecting that to be what was on there. Clearly. The mining subject is offline for some reason, Isaac. I'll see if I can run a bypass. Let's just make sure you never become a necromorph. Let's do maintenance first. Oh, 
Better have it this way. Okay, now that is correctly facing. I'm just gonna stay in my corner. Maybe if I get all of them on the way down, they won't come after me on the way up? That's how that works, right? Why is that getting louder? That's it, right? One down. The other one's making more. You cannot tell me I'm already out of plasma ammo. I'm already out of plasma ammo. Why? What the hell are you doing? Ah, get back! Come any closer, and and I'll shoot him. Give me the access codes to the cargo bay. You idiot! This is processing. Why the hell would I have codes to cargo? Don't lie to me. I'm sick of everyone lying to me. It is imperative that I get the marker. Give me those codes. I don't have them. Is this what you did to the captain? Go on, shoot me if you've got the balls. Idiot! It's the only way to stop it! The only way to end it! You completely lost it. Somebody call security! Gonna be easy with limited plasma ammo and my other weapons being mostly junk. Let's be honest, I haven't upgraded them. of ammo. There's gonna be a necromorph on there. Any other side of this platform isn't there. Right there, right in front of me, right? Oh. Isaac? Is that really you? It feels like it's been so long. But I can help you now. Come with me. Hello, potentially alive or dead girlfriend, maybe? Maybe not? The beacon. 
Hopkins in the storage room next to you. I think I could disable the lock from here. Hold on. Is it locked? Is it? That's not what I wanted. Come on, they should all be giving me ammo. I'm down to 49 ammo left for this thing. Let's check my inventory. I got my contact beam ammo. Isaac. Hey, oh, I am I not leaving while. without that suit. Don't be worried. I see you've got the beacon, so head for the mining bay and attach it to the asteroid. I've been running trajectory calculations, and if we launch soon, there's a good chance the asteroid can reach a safe distance to begin transmitting. Still no sign of Hammond. In his state, I can't imagine he's still alive. Isaac, get behind cover! Oh wait, you can't! Yes, ammo. How much do I have now? Five more. <laughs> oh, this was the side where they do that. Safety gear must be worn at all times in Class A environments. What's class A mean compared to class M? Because no M class planets are ones like Earth. I'm okay. Don't waste ammo.
back up to the top because I have something for the store. And I guess I'm gonna finish off the episode by obtaining that new suit. Yay! Oh, hey, I'm out. I meant to say ammo, not a mo. A mo. A mo. Mo, 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 moa. A moa bird. Give me a new suit, give me a new suit, give me a new suit. Thirty-five. I was off by five thousand. Still, good thing I saved. Suit upgrade. <laughs> really super armory suit. I think level 3 was the iconic one. Either that or level 5 was. I don't remember off the top of my head which one was the really iconic iconic. But either way, we need plasma energy. And now we have a lot of plasma energy. Weird, that normally sorts out properly. Got two nodes. Thought I would have had one more. Oh well. Let's get the last of the upgrades I can get directly. And then the next node in here will go he here, so that then I can get that speed, and then we'll get two more capacity upgrades. And then the plasma cutter will be ultimate. So three nodes here, one, two, three, four, five here. Three here if I ever plan on upgrading that, and a whole bunch here if I ever plan on upgrading that. My main focus is the rig and the plasma cutter, though. So, that'll do it for this episode. If you liked it, leave a like and comment down below, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!